Hello there, my fine people of YouTube. How are you doing today? It's been a while, I know. Uh, today, I've got a Tractor Scratch Pro video for you. And it's just a little walkthrough of Tractor Scratch Pro. Uh, I am using a Mac now, uh, as I'm getting more into DJing. I'm just going to show you what I have set up here. Uh, so, when I, if I am ever mixing just on my computer, as I am now, maybe with a mouse, I'll go into mixer mode. Otherwise, I use extended for my turntables. So we'll go into the mixer for now. So my uh, decks A and B are regular full decks. Decks C and D are regular decks. They're just shrunk. So I can make, this is the regular look. I keep it with small just so uh, I can uh, drag and drop a track in there. Like if I'm ever mixing an acapella in, I'll just drop in an acapella here down here, or here down here and uh, we're good to go. Uh, so I don't use the track collection at all. I use iTunes to organize my music. How I organize my music is I have everything in here. Uh, it's in all in iTunes. I use uh, the genres uh, and there are some exceptions to genres. So acapellas. <coughs> acapellas are acapellas. That's all that's in this folder. All right. I will make this a bit bigger for you guys. Acapellas, just acapellas in here. So I got 19, uh, well, technically 18, maybe 17. Next, we have alternatives. And these are just, if it's, uh, it's the alternative here or something else. Uh, I'll put it in here, like trance I've been putting in here as well. Club and dance, my favorite stuff. This is the pretty much top 40s, uh, with exceptions to uh, if it's got club or dance in its genre name when I put it in here. For example, here you see other in this one here, uh, Pitbull. Uh, it is a pretty much a dance track. It's just uh, the genre is named other. So that's that. Uh, what else? Here we got uh, my dead mouse. In here, it is all organized by BPM. So up here, we got the uh, 60, 96 BPM up here. And when we get down to the bottom, we get down to 152 BPM. So I organize everything by BPM. And when, since, it's by, uh, since it's in BPM, it'll... it'll uh, if it's the same BPM by the same artist, it'll uh, group together. Uh, so that is that. My dubstep, don't have much dubstep. Electro, uh, got a fair amount of electro. 151 songs in electro. Uh, in club and dance, I have 406. You, if you put, look at the bottom right of my screen, you can see that I can play uh, for 1.5 days of songs and. Uh, there's 406 songs in here. Electro, uh, Green Day. I got 39 Green Day songs. I like Green Day. Hip hop, rap, R&B. So I don't mix much of this, but I got a small collection, 101. It's small. I've got 35 house songs. Um, Notorious. This is a song that uh, my friend made. It's really good. I'll link it in the description down below. Other is other. So if it's stuff that either isn't good quality or uh, uh, has some kind of problem with it or is just other and I put it in other uh, pop is kind of a radio radio music so if it's a radio edit it goes into pop so uh, like I got some dance stuff in here but it's just a radio edit uh, it's, uh, if it's with the radio edits it goes in here and in its uh, uh, genre if it's for example here can't hold us by Malcolm Moore uh, hip-hop it's in the hip-hop it's also in here so it's um, a bit easier to organize progressive 13 tracks in here punk this is again Green Day uh, reggae not much reggae whatsoever <laughs> one rock 26 songs uh, any Green Day in here no, yes two songs uh, top of the top so this is stuff that I think is uh, really good, and it's stuff that I like to play. It's I it is rated 
uh, with a 5 out of 5 stars in iTunes. You can see the stars here. This is another system I use. Uh, the higher the rating, the more often I'm probably going to play it. And it is based on my preference. So this is kind of a, a top 40s preference. I, I, I gravitate more towards top 40s, so that's what I tend to DJ. Urban. So uh, whatever's urban. I actually don't go into this as much. I should. I, I like the stuff that's in here. And then my casual listening. <laughs> Uh, Cub Car Rally, it's an event that I did. Other mixes, so I got DJ Vice, or Vice, in here. Intro stuff, uh, Othello, my mixes, and Z, 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 Z. And this is just music that I need to uh, import to uh, Tractor, which I have imported a couple of these for all of them. I just got to organize them now. So that is my library. Let's go back into iTunes here to make things organized. I don't use this here, the the hotkeys. I don't use hotkeys. I just don't. Uh, this is these are the main filter. This these are the main effects I use. And over here, I don't seem to stray off from these much. I don't use much effects. I'm just kind of a. Uh, uh, I, I use uh, EQs. I might be getting a new mixer soon. So uh, if I do get a new mixer, I'm looking at the Z2 from Native Instruments. And that's got a filter in it uh, on board, so it'll make things a bit easier for me so I don't have to worry about going in here if I want to filter, which I find is very annoying. Plus, uh, looping is going to be much easier. But the one thing with the Z2 that I'm not truly excited about is the cue points, as I have Novation Dicers for that, uh, which I'll probably still continue using my Novation Dicers unless I somehow stray away from those, but uh, my Novation Dicers will end up probably following me into clubs and stuff. So... That is that. What else do I have to show you? Um, I don't know. It's we'll go into my settings here. Uh, my audio setup here. It's just 2.9. It's I find I can't. Uh, when I first got this computer, I was able to go f 92 kilohertz, 96 kilohertz, and the fastest uh, latency. This uh, yeah, fastest latency. Uh, when I was when I first bought the computer, it was on uh, OS X Lion, and I've updated to OS X Mountain Lion since. And uh, I have lost the ability to go on 96k at a really fast uh, latency, which is very annoying. So, uh, with that said, I when I'm using my Audio Six sound card, I'm on 48 uh, kilohertz. Uh, and I'm at the f fastest that is, and that's like um, 4.1 milliseconds or something, which isn't bad. Uh, here's my output, internal routing, and you can see my microphone here. Uh, MIDI clock, time code setup. Don't have time. I don't. I'm just sitting at my desk right now. Loading, transport, deck layout, track decks, remix decks. I don't really use those. They had sample decks, and I preferred the sample decks over the remix decks. So uh, I think Native Instruments should look at uh, bringing back uh, sample decks themselves alongside with the remix decks. That's what I think they should bring back. The mixer, the normal mixer, global settings, effects. Um, huh. A whole bunch of new effects in here. I can add them. Let's add them all while I'm here. didn't realize some new effects were added. Huh. Let's take a look here. Yeah, see, there's a whole bunch of new effects. I'll have to try those out. Um, stuff. Loop recorder. Don't use that. Uh, broadcasting. I think that is this. Audio recorder. I use that to record my mixes. It's very handy in Tractor. Uh, browser details. Uh, layout manager. File management. Uh, metadata. Analyzer and controller manager, and that's that. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't use this feature. I don't know what it is. I use my effects. Uh, I use the audio recorder to record my mixes, like I said, on for Mixcloud. Um, I keep this at here, this here, this here, this here. So yeah, that is pretty much my setup for Tractor. If you guys have any questions, leave it down below. Uh, I will be 
more than willing to answer those for you. If you guys have any general tractor questions, I can try to answer those for you. I'm pretty good with those. I've pretty much answered most of them. Uh, and I, one question that I just want to kind of uh, go through now is that the tractor audio, uh, tractor scratch duo and tractor scratch pro a6 those are pretty much the exact same thing the only difference is the uh, tractor scratch pro uh, tractor scratch uh, pro a6 you're going to get uh, the new time code in it along with a uh, tractor scratch pro license uh, with the tractor scratch duo you get tractor scratch you get a tractor scratch duo license but they update you to tractor scratch pro and that is how i got tractor scratch pro here which is which is very awesome i like that a lot uh yeah and it's pretty much the same stuff in the box so that is that uh like i said if you have any any other questions let me know i will answer them in the comments down below uh and yeah thanks for watching guys and have a great day peace